guys you're welcome thank you so much for clicking so we're going to be checking out a video titled arrogant preacher gets exposed by muslim wow okay let's check it out Atonement for okay. sins, and that's why the Bible says in the Old Testament All right. that without Fair. the shedding of blood, Fair. there is no atonement. Let me tell you for something. Sin. If I go to hell, if I go to hell, because I, I meet, you said I'm going to hell, you, but you don't want me to. Okay. You will die in your sins, and that's why you're going to die in your sins, and you're on the way to hell. Let me. Okay. If you're saying, if I meet God, when I do meet God on the day of judgment, and I explain to Allah, God Almighty, that look. I followed their teachings. I did everything possible to emulate them in their lifestyle. But when they told me to say that you have a son or that there's likeness to you, Ya Rabbi, my Lord, I did not believe that. I believe that you are one and alone. You are Ahad. You are Wahid. There's nothing like you. Because of that, I would never say that there's someone like you because glory be to you. There's nothing like you. Now, now, if you, if you want to, Throw me in hell for that, you're not a just God, but God is the most just. Therefore, He knows we would not be thrown into hellfire, my friend. Do you know for certain, without a doubt, yeah. that God Almighty is going to let you in? No. And this is why, because you don't have atonement for sins. I know. Is it my, my turn? I, no. Is it my turn? No, it's not. It's not. Okay. My, I know. Wait for my, my turn. My sins okay. have been forgiven okay. in this current state. Okay. Because John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins okay. of the world. Those Wait who for my turn. Those who have the Son have the Father also. Wait for my turn. Those who abide in the Son, the Son and His Father also abide in me. And so therefore the Son abides in every believer. Jesus said, I will abide in you. And so Jesus is saying, I can be in all places at all times because I can abide in you when you go over there. I can abide in you when you Jesus go over there. Jesus was in flesh. He couldn't do that. In you if you he was in flesh. There. He couldn't do that. Because he couldn't do that. He's in flesh. Almighty God. If he was if God in flesh, he couldn't do that. If he's God in flesh, he can't do that. Now you're saying that, oh, because I don't know if I'm going to hell for certain for heaven because of that argument, you know for certain that you're going to go that's that right. means you're right that's actually false and let me tell you why here's listen to the reason and logic alex okay so as i mentioned to the lady that was here before who's long gone and you took over from the conversation that i'm a well, school she's team buttoned in, man. I, I, mean, I love her and everything like that but i was trying to have a conversation with you. don't backbite okay so with that being said don't i'm a school backbite. yeah you're backbiting because she's not here you're speaking ill of her don't say that i'm not speaking ill of her she my turn it's my turn I, I said i love her but i you know I was that doesn't make it any better you. give it back to me please okay so i've been a school teacher for nearly a decade here in new york city okay if i came first day of school starting on september 13th kids come in school and say hey guys all of you passed you 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 all you passed you guys are good what would happen to the motivation of, this is a rhetorical question, what would happen to the motivation level of the children? Would they stay determined? Would they continue to strive to become better? Would they continue to strive to improve their grades and be like, I'm chilling. It's like the last days of school when the semester is over, last semester, or when it's the last marking period or the last week of school. It's chill, it's fun. If a teacher comes to teach you, they're like, oh, we're actually gonna learn? No. Because when you don't know, but you do all the right things. So if a kid came to me, Mr. SQ, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to pass. I said, listen, if you come up, you show up every single day. You get your homework done. You do your classwork. I promise you, you will be fine. Yes, but you have that hope and fear that it may happen, it may not. That's what keeps you on the edge, and that's what keeps you striving and motivated. If that kid knew that he is good no matter what, that kid would not work. He would not be motivated to do anything. So as a Muslim, I bow my head five times, five times, more than five times a day, five times a day daily in prayer. I break my sleep to worship Allah, God, the Father, Almighty, the God of Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, Abraham, the same God. I break my sleep for him. Why? Because I want to show that I am willing to do whatever it takes, physically, whatever, with my heart, everything to pray to him. And I will seek my forgiveness directly through God. I will bow my head. I don't need to confess my sins. I don't need to testify. All I need to be is sincere when I bow my head to Allah and say, Allah, I've wronged myself. Don't move it. No, 
So if you are doing that, if you are bowing your head and being sincere to God, God will forgive you because God is the most merciful. What pleasure, what goodness does God get from th throwing us in the hellfire? He does not want to do that. As Muslims, He does not want to do that. We believe that God loves you more than your mother will love you. And on that day, on the day of judgment, even your mother will even your mother would leave you or abandon you on the day of judgment. The point I'm trying to make is this. If we're saying that I know for certain I'm going to go to heaven, well, that doesn't mean I'm going to work harder. There's certain things that is in Elm al ghaib meaning in the unseen knowledge. The same way when Jesus was asked, when is, the, when is the day of judgment? And he said that, I don't know. The Father is the only one with that knowledge. Well, if Jesus was God in flesh or God in spirit, however, I'm sure you'll answer this. He should have known everything because God knows everything. And he didn't know the answer to that. Same thing happened when he went to the tree of the fig and he wanted to eat something and he cursed the tree because the fig there was no fruit over there and you know that better than I do he did not have all information because he is not God nor did he ever claim to be God God cannot bear children not because God can't it's because it goes against God's nature God doesn't do things like that it doesn't befit God to bear children to have sons and everything like that if you turn to God alone accept all the prophets of Allah and you bear witness that the Quran is one of the testaments it is one of the books that were revealed in a series of prophets and books and is the final book in its full completion that is what we believe enters into paradise there is no other way except through God's mercy and his forgiveness Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Alex. Listen, listen. You said a lot of things, man, but the fact remains, you don't know that you're going to heaven or not. I do know. I do know that it's up to God's mercy. It's God's mercy. But why will this man, Christian preacher, be so convinced that the man might not go to heaven? You cannot judge anybody. You don't know anybody's acts. You know, God brought us to this world to do good deeds. To show kindness, we are here on assignment. So, what if he's doing what God wants him to do on earth? So, we cannot just conclude and say this person is going to this, this person is not going to ever No, I don't think the pre Christian preacher should be preaching such things. He should preach more about you know salvation, preach more about love, unity, peace. Don't come and preach about you know you are not going to heaven because you are, you are, you are not. Um, it's not in your religion. No, it's not true. Everybody should be convinced that truly, truly, you are going to go to heaven, right? And based on your works, right? That is another proof. I just love the way the Muslim man was so convincing. He explained why he believed that Jesus is not God. Because based on his own knowledge and understanding, he feels like if Jesus is actually God, he would have known everything why he was on earth. And it's only God that knows everything. So that's number one reason why he was not really in support of that argument when the Christian man spoke about Jesus. And he spoke a lot about the uh, Quran, why he believed that we are serving only one God, why he believed that he's going to go to heaven. And it's, it's, it's not a bad thing for you to have that convincing mindset or that mindset that, yes, I want to go to heaven. Everybody wants to go to heaven, even though we have to, have to work towards it, right? But the, the part I didn't like was when the man kept said it in the beginning that he was going to go to hell and you don't know if you are going to go to hell or heaven. As a Christian man, that's not what you should be preaching about. You should preach more something that will uplift the spirit, more of love, peace, you know, preach about love. That's the most important thing. But that was a beautiful video. Let me know what your thoughts, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.